Hello and welcome to another episode of Greg Goes Electric. Now, um, my last video I said I'd get back to posting videos as uh, chronologically close as I can to the construction of the uh, of the vehicle. That being said, I'm going to kind of rewind and go back to uh, the construction of the battery box. So that's what this video is covering. Now, it's a good amount of footage, so we're going to break this video up into two segments. This uh, first segment is going to cover the uh, unboxing, voltage testing, and water jacket testing of the 16 modules. The second uh, segment will cover the uh, construction, uh, installation of the modules into the battery box, and then the battery box and its components into the vehicle itself. <laughs> to perform a leak test on these Tesla module packs and on these modules there are on the opposite side which is this is the opposite side of the uh, conductive side there are two uh, inlets one's an inlet one's an outlet I'm not sure which one I believe it's bi-directional but anyway uh, these uh, nipples here go to uh, these passages and and what happens is these passages run up along through the batteries on uh, either side of the row, and that is to uh, emit a coolant or, or yeah, coolant, and it's, it's, it's gonna radiate the coolant, which will be pressed against the battery, and then that keeps the battery at an optimal temperature. Not sure what the PSI is, or if there is any PSI, I believe in this case it'd be gallons per minute. Not sure what the gallon per minute flow is. I imagine it just has to be enough to uh, keep constant coolant constantly going past the batteries to keep them at an optimal temperature when operating under load. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is uh, I have a aquarium pump, which is gonna get submerged into this distilled water here. And then there is a quarter inch inner diameter tube, which is gonna get put over top of this nipple. And then the other end is gonna go into here, this inlet, it's gonna circulate through. I'm gonna have another tube that comes out of this inlet that goes back down to the water, to its uh, water source. And uh, once the, two, the water starts to flow out, and I see it going back to this water source, then I'm gonna pinch the other end with my finger, deadhead it for a minute, let it build pressure up. And when it builds pressure, that is to make sure that uh, there's no leak. So this cardboard shouldn't be wet after I perform the tests on each module. So what I've done before I even started, I have my mod modules marked. So this is module one, uh, then there's uh, two, three, four, et cetera, up to 16. So uh, after each one, I give it a okay stamp, and then we've already done our, our voltage tests. They're all balanced evenly. So after I do my uh, leak test, and then it's on to uh, designing the battery box so for how we're gonna put the layout in the truck. Now, the reason that we're even performing a, a leak test on these modules is because uh, upon arrival at the trucking company, once we uh, went to pick these modules up, we noticed that the uh, crates that these things came in were crushed and damaged and uh, we weren't sure of what condition the modules were inside of the crates and uh, I've just in my experience with different trucking companies when you're having something that's transitioning from across the country and it goes through multiple hubs uh, going in and out of trucks the the materials can can be mishandled it can be damaged you know from the the forks on the trucks or even just from things being piled on top so that they could squeeze the whole uh, uh, package or, or the whole load inside of the truck. So we figured it would be to our advantage to go ahead on and, and perform a leak test on, on these modules before we install them in a battery box because, as you know, uh, lithium batteries do not like water. They don't like moisture. So uh, it'd be a, a safe route to water test these things or to leak test these things and make sure that the glycol isn't going to leak throughout the water jackets and 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 fill up inside the battery box and cause a, a thermal runaway and uh, 
to uh, to our advantage, uh, it was it was a good thing. We noticed that we had three bad uh, modules. Thank you.